no TPM, no secure boot, no fancy Windows 11 requirement. Looking for Tiny 11, Windows 11 lightweight. So this is the best Windows for you. This is a bloatware free Windows 11 from Microsoft with the latest version 24H2. This Windows doesn't have pre-installed app like you get in Windows 11 Pro and other editions also like you get here Clipchamp, Xbox and Microsoft Store. Many other apps you get pre-installed right. But in this you will not see any single pre-installed bloatware app. So guys Microsoft launched Windows 11 LTSE version 24 s to for everyone and you can install it on any hardware like you have very low-end system and you doesn't meet windows 11 requirement you can install it on your system without any kind of bypassing anything so what is windows 11 ltc so windows 11 ltc long-term servicing channels so basically this is for enterprises and businesses healthcare banking manufacturing so over the period of time they don't want some changes or new features in their system then this window is for them so what is the difference between normal windows and ltc so basically in ltc you you will not get here pre-installed apps like Microsoft and other apps. So this is a streamlined optimized version for everyone. Another difference is like the updates you frequently receive in normal windows like 2-3 updates in a month. In Windows 11 LTSE you will not get here too many frequently updates. Windows 11 LTSE more focused on stability. You will not get here so many feature updates. You will get here feature updates after 2 or 3 years right. And this LTSE supports 5 years and if you have enterprise it will support for 10 years. If you have very low end system which have 1 GB RAM, 2 GB RAM and very low end processor. So this is the best solution for you. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can download and install it and uh, how it is working on my system. So this is the official page here. You can go and download Windows 11 ISO for x 64 and AMD 64 edition and ISO is also available for ARM devices. So just download the ISO. So minimum system requirement you can see 1 gigahertz 2 core processor 2 gb ram and 16 gb storage devices if you have ssd and hdd uvfi or bios all things are going to work and tpm and secure bit is not required here this is a great thing so after downloading the iso just uh, open rufus and select your iso and click on start it will create a bootable usb of your windows 11 ltse after creating the bootable usb you need to just insert in your system and press the boot menu key you will get here this kind of a screen all things are same as we do in normal windows the only good thing is here you don't need microsoft account you can click on domain join instead and you can set up local account now we have successfully installed this Windows 11 LTSE. You can see in a start menu, do not get any pre-installed apps. Only Microsoft Edge is available. In taskbar, you can see already pinned Copilot. This is a progressive web app. You will not get any single third party apps. So this is a very clean Windows which everyone want. Okay, so let's see what are the resources uses over here. In CPU, you can see it is using normally like 122 processes. It can also be lower. So if you optimize it more and RAM using like 1.8 GB. It totally depends upon my RAM like I'm currently having 8 GB. If you have 4 GB or 2 GB it will show you accordingly. And this doesn't take too much uh, space in your C drive. In properties you can see it is using 11 GB and it can be 9 to 10 GB also. So many people have so many questions in their mind like uh, can I install or play games in this and can I install every regular software or apps which you normally install in Windows 11 Pro. Yes you can install every software and play every game but the problem with this is like you do not get regular updates so whatever the software updates according to windows 11 pro company pushes that is not going to be available here like latest driver other performance improvement with the game and software that is not going to happen in this windows 11 ltse so those things will not work perfectly right the games which regularly get the update and the software which regularly get the updates that is not going to be compatible with this so that's why this is for just businesses who just don't want to change any single feature they just want to use it for the same purpose so like you have installed or downloaded any game which doesn't require any update you can install it in that and play as long as you want another big problem is here this windows will pre-activate it for 90 days after 90 days it will expire right so so many people saying like uh, after 90 days what will happen so i just read one blog post in that they are saying like uh, after 90 days your system will not work perfectly and it will reboot after three hours so i think this doesn't happen 
let me tell you i did not try this so i can't 100% say this is true or not but this thing will not happen because recently i installed windows 10 ltse which is not activated and it is working perfectly in my system it doesn't restart and all these things doesn't happen right the problem is if you want to do some productivity work and you want the latest thing then this window is not for you right so this window will be very helpful for the pc which doesn't support windows 11 like a very high end system requirement so you can install it on any 1 gb or 2 gb ram system very low end processor everything is covered in this video and if you have any other questions just comment down i will answer each and every comment about this windows 11 ltse